the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. Hey, we had a great study today. I think it's every time we get to have a forum and, and get into the Word of God, I do believe it's great. I believe in the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I think the fact is, it's all about uh, being open and, 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 and frank in discussions about the scriptures and, and learning and analyzing those scriptures line upon line and precept upon precept. Yeah, we can't cover everything in one session, and we're not meant to do that. We need to highlight an area and i guarantee you that every area any other areas in the scriptures especially in the teaching of christ is to to make sure to remind ourselves that we line up with the scriptures and the teaching of christ christ said in john 14 6 i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him and because of that that's why it's more important for us to to not only point the way but to also go the way and recognizing that eternal life is following Christ uh, for those who want to receive Christ. Yes, those of you who don't want to believe in Christ or don't want to receive salvation from our perspective, that's your choice and we respect that choice. I want you to always know that. You have a right. You should. God gave you the right to choose. For believers, you made a choice that Christ is Lord, so let Christ be Lord in your life. And meaning Lord mean is instead of doing it your way, uh, you doing it his way. And so we want to be able to talk about the different uh, atrocities and, 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 and what's going on during the day, you know, modern time, and address it and say, how do things line up with the word of God? And that's what we want to talk about today. And one of the things is I'll show you, this is the title that I'm using uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, cover. <laughs> uh, I just used the, one of my cover from last week to, to put up there to, to start this session off. Then I just take one of my uh, pictures for the day to uh, cover the scriptures. But the title, is talking about what fellowship has Christ with Belial. Belial. Belial is what represents the evil one, the devil, and so forth. What fellowship has it? Or love with hate. What fellowship, what compatibleness, compatibility does love have with hate? Or Christ have with the devil? None. And that's what we're trying to tell you. So we're trying to address in asking these questions is why would you use hate, discrimination, uh, murder, adultery, and all those things to and say that it's okay because it lines up with God. It has no compatibility. I hope that you start talking to the people in the medical profession and sit there and those people that are sitting there doing things that cause uh, people from different ethnic groups to die in, in, in procedures or in birth, uh, that ain't right. So talk to them. Let them know your eternal life is on the line while you're sitting there doing something that you think lines up with God's will, but murder does not line up with God's will. Not doing the best that you can just, and, and, and or doing the less that you can is not lining up with God's will. But the whole point I just want to sit there and say is that we're not supposed to uh, do things that's not compatible with the teaching of Christ. And, and that's what I think we need to ensure people do that, is to do the thing that's compatible with the teaching and encourage other people to do what's compatible with the teaching. And, and not to hurt people or put people down, but to love one another, amen? All right, so I think you're gonna enjoy this session. I guarantee you will. And I've even used some AI. <laughs> My son gave me something little with AI, and I used that to put some scriptures down, and it gave some interesting comments 
or synopsis of those scriptures that I want to share with you. And I think we can continue to use those to, to get that non-biased to at least less least bias bias uh, perspective of the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in here. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give comments when you can and understand that Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus in the English translation or transliterations. So uh, I hope you enjoy the study and, and I hope you come back again and we'll continue to just put the word out from my understanding and from what the scriptures say. The key to it is the whole purpose of using the slides is to show what the scriptures say. And I'll ask you to do is follow the scriptures. That's what you need to do. And that's what I believe is right. Amen. All right. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's go ahead into our discussion that we had this Sunday. I'll check you when I see you later. Amen. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. You got it. Yeah. You know? I mean, it was a principle. It was a, a principle that was based, it was a, 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 it was a kingdom principle. Kingdom principle. Because yeah. like, like the word says, the rain falls on the just and the unjust. Right. So they, they are blessed. Yes. Just by their existence. Yes. You know what and, I'm the, and then I also notice that too, if you look at the Old Testament and what the real original intent with the children of Israel, the Hebrews, uh, was that the world was coming to them to hear the wisdom of God. You know, Solomon, you know, all those people was coming uh, uh, to, to hear this wisdom. And, and God was demonstrating, using, he just, he just selected a group of people, a small group of people, to really introduce himself to the whole world uh, of his goal and intent of, of, of what holiness is. And he just, he just selected a small group of people, not because they were special in any other way. He said that in the scriptures, don't it? The scripture even says it. Don't y'all, even know for y'all to boast about. <laughs> this covenant, this selection of you was for purpose, uh, but nothing that you earn at all, you know? Uh, and that's why I sit there and say is that the, when, and, and, I, and I remember sometimes, I don't know if you dealt with where there are some uh, mothers in the church that that have expressed that sometimes they sit there and say, I hate, I hate to sin. But they, they show the hate toward the people, not understanding the difference between the sin and the person. You, you have to make sure that you, you don't project your hate on a person. You can hate the sin, not the person. And some of them used to do that, you know, they, they, mm -hmm. they, they were very uh, adamant about, I, I just can't tolerate the sin. And yet at the same time, we all have sin. Everybody knows that. They all have sin. We have all have sin. It comes short of the glory of God that we really can't, it's, it's kind of hypocritical to, to have a burning desire against a specific area of sin and not recognize that the Bible said, you know, you sin at one point, you sin at all. So that that means don't 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 project hate toward any sin because it's it's not what it's all about. Project the love that he told you to do. And and because I really don't want people to go, and that's why I put that Matthew 7:23, and then I will profess unto them, those who want to go against these commandments, these guidance that God gave. And he gave them more in detail than Deuteronomy. Uh, you know, remember when he put down and broke down those laws. He said, I profess unto them, I have never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in equity. So my, my point for those who've been given green light to violate these things because they consider somebody less than uh, a, a man or a woman, that's made in the image of God, 
uh, subhuman or anything else, he, he's going to tell you. And I'm just telling you, and you can and, and go to your pastor and anybody else and sit and say, is it true, right? We can hate these people. We can do bad things to these people because they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not man, here, they're not a man or a woman. And but in reality, a politician, hey look, a political party, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or some other political party, whether you are a, 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 a person that's white or a person that's a black group or European or whatever, it those things are just subdescriptions of the mankind. Uh, the next one I put down here, I put down here is the same question. It says uh, that same question is still there. And then I said, then say the below do these things, the things that's below. So read these. This is Galatians five nineteen. I'm gonna go over to wherever well, I think it's twenty. Twenty. I think it's twenty one. Yeah, it's nineteen to twenty one. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, reveling, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And that implies is that once again, if you think somebody is less than you, they're not part of your group, they're not part of your political party, they're not part of your color of skin, they're not part of, of, of your ethnic group, where, where do you where is it written that you can do those things to those people and that's what we're trying to say is that it does not add up for anybody to sit there and believe that you can do these things to people to your fellow man and think that it's okay with god because he's telling you, just like we did with the Ten Commandments, and now I'm talking about with the New Testament, he's saying that you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. If you're not gonna inherit the kingdom of God, where do you think you're gonna go when you leave this world? Now, we do agree that in some people, they, they don't believe they're gonna have an uh, afterlife. That's your, that's your choice. That's your faith that you have. It's just that you'll find out, just like I'll find out at the end of my faith, uh, about eternal life and or eternal death. Those who don't want Christ, you making a decision yourself that you don't believe in eternal life. Okay, well, that's that's your position. And, you know, we respect that position. Don't you respect that position, Brother Addison? I mean, I, you, if you I want to... <laughs> I can't make anyone follow Christ. Mm -mm. No. Uh, that, that is a personal relationship exactly cultivated in hearing of, uh, of the gospel exactly um, especially in, in this day and in, 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 in this this uh, western civilization mm -hmm. you know, uh, the it's what what was founded through those who who so-called found this world right the, the europeans when they came and they bought a form of christianity it did mm -hmm. not bring uh, christianity as christ would have it right they want to their, their actions was not lining up with the teaching yeah. at all, you they, know. They, 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 they only did what I guess they they were taught. You know, no different. You know, we can't blame them per se because in the in the 
to black churches mm -hmm. you know, uh, for, for generations, all that was taught was what was heard and learned yes. from someone else. Exactly. No one really delved into the word of, of God to pull out revelations uh, about this dispensation. Mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to further the kingdom uh, it was only regurgitating what was yeah. heard you know uh, and then somebody may have gotten into those scriptures and seen some things and and, and added on to it but uh, yeah they added to it matter of fact they even try to make if, if y'all for some of y'all they're people are trying to make a a slave bible yeah. Uh, where they took out things that uh, pertains to the deliverance, yeah. to the salvation, well, to, the, to the humanity of all men. Exactly. So, right. Uh, yeah. Because they, they couldn't give them that, right? They couldn't give them that because they said, well, you know, we, 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 we're we doing this to you, right? We're doing some bad things to you. And we well, were. They, they weren't they weren't being Christ -like. Exactly. And they were they were really being hypocrites at mm -hmm. this point. And uh, to know of a sin and to walk it out is is oh my goodness. That is that is what, yeah. What 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 boldness? You it, know, it was to me is like this is it, it was I I wanted to manipulate. I want to use this as a tool because I don't believe in myself. And and it almost like they it's almost like a did they believe at well, all? Did, did they did believe they the scriptures? Were, they were filling a box. Um Ooh. it it That's interesting, right? You're right. I I, I, I I'm I'm so I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's, it's kind of conflicted. Yeah. Go ahead. You know, I, I have a uh a pattern of thinking that that has been going on here for not a lot a long time but uh but finding out that people of color for the most part were not the gentiles right that were in the in the world um mm -hmm. now i'm not saying that they weren't because you know if if this this whole uh, biblical history took place in Africa, then that means that there actually were black Gentiles, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. black children of God. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but if there were children of God in this region where there were predominantly people of color, mm -hmm. then that meant that just about anyone who was European was a Gentile. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. so because they were treated in such ways, no different than the uh, tribes in Africa right now, when one group was picked over another to be favored and to have favored, once they were given equality then he went and and did atrocities to for those because they were retaliating yes. for how they were treated so in my mind this could be the pattern that the enemy is using okay you were not the children of god and now you are but the children of god look down upon you as as gentiles and you were outcast and uh and dominant right so now we're gonna do the same to these who are we're gonna replace them as the lead and so that is something that i've been toiling with is, is could this be uh the the plan of the enemy it is a plan right you know uh uh that has these people who thinking okay now we're we're accepted in but we're gonna take the lead we're gonna yeah. take over and we're right. going to take control and we're going to do we're going to treat these people who who god protected 
and, and, and called his in the beginning, and we're going to treat them like we were treated. We're going to, you know, but the scripture also talks about uh, the Gentiles, though they be accepted, do not look down upon those who were chosen. Exactly. Because right. they were given the very oracles of God that yes. you now follow. I mean, if it was not written in there, mm -hmm. then I could not talk about the things that I'm talking about right now in this line of, of, of questioning and, and thought that. Yes. Because it's in there for a reason. It is you know a reason. Saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there's nothing in these words that are not there just for word's sake. So if, if there is an admonishing to those who were Gentiles to not look up on, look down upon those who were the children of God, mm -hmm. even though they have walked away, you know, but when they come back, they're given more. Exactly, exactly. Because they <sighs> return no different than the, the, the man with two sons, which yeah. is known as the prodigal son. Yes. Now, yeah. that, 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 that child that left, when you look at it at face value, he got more than the one that stayed. Yeah. Yeah. You know and and that's why the other one was upset because yeah. of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and and, and the, the parable, you know, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Be first. Exactly. <laughs> and, 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 exactly. And, and he, he, I was, I'm reading Deuteronomy now, and it was talking about the fact that don't forget that you were in bondage. Uh, you were delivered from bondage. So yeah. be, when you deal with foreigners, uh, just keep that in mind. In other words, I don't want you to be the same as what, I don't want you to do people the same way you were treated. Mm -hmm. I want you to remember what it was like for you to be in bondage. Therefore, don't don't reverse that uh, or, or do that to other people. So he he's he's saying it throughout. That's what I'm saying. If you, anybody want to read, read Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is real good. Uh, it's just as we read Exodus too, right? But that's the whole point I'm saying is if you are Christ-like, because that's the that's the real crust of the matter, is what was his teaching, and and if you're gonna go his way, you need to go his way all the way teaching with the love and respect for what your fellow man. So that's what we want to talk about today. And I'm using those scripts that get ready to come about is, and I, and I like, and I like you, I like you, and you, you read it for us, is how the, uh, the AI <laughs> actually broke that down yeah. to, 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 to those scriptures. So let, let's go into that. Cause I was like, wow, interesting. I said, I'm going to use that quite often. <laughs> that that son is more, uh, it's just, I mean, the scripture going to stand for itself. It's just how uh, the people, how how those scriptures are broken down based on his teaching. All right. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the study, the session we just went through. I'm breaking the sessions down. I have broken, broken the sessions down from A, B, C, D, whatever it takes to finish them out. And then I just, uh, post those on a daily basis throughout the week and I will share those as much as possible to everybody uh, on Facebook and uh, on YouTube and you know I will send some out to text I normally try to send ones on text on Monday Wednesday and Friday and tell you Sunday Monday Wednesday and Friday uh, of the session that we have so uh, I just hope you just captured the whole point as that we need to be able to actually focus on the Word of God and practice the Word of God and stop fellowshipping with people that teach things that's contrary to the Word of God. Now, I tell you not to go and minister and go preach the gospel to, 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 the, to the world, but when you actually have people who profess to be Christians and then they try to teach things, contrary to the scriptures, not 
contrary to your ministry, your denomination, uh, or whatever somebody else tells you, what you want to do as an individual is responsible for doing what the scriptures say. Be led by the Holy Spirit is all we want to be able to do and emphasize in this teaching. You know, so uh, there's no the title uh, as we gave here. And I'll show it again just to close out with it, the title. And I'll update the title in itself, but it says, What fellowship has Christ with Belial? Belial represents the devil. Or love with hate. What, what fellowship do those two have? They don't have any. Uh, and that's why you want to make sure that you don't demonstrate the things or the the, 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 the tools and manners of the devil, you want to demonstrate the tools of Christ, the love of Christ, the teaching of Christ. You know, I, I put in a song in this and they say, yes, you know, you read that old song, the Christian song, children's song that says, you know, yes, Jesus loves me uh, because the Bible tells me so. And I put it in there and saying, is it that that's an incomplete song, and I know it's a children's song, and I just encourage the people to add some other things to the song, such as, yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus forgives you. Yes, I forgive you because the Bible tells me so. You see what I'm saying? That for us as believers, mature believers, is the fact is what does the Bible tell us so, right? And that's that's what I want you to remember that. And then also this scripture here that uh, I mentioned in the introduction, well, I, I, I'm mentioning now is uh, in the closing, excuse me, is James 3.11. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet order and bitter? Verse 12, can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, fig? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. So when you got hate, everything else coming out of you, you ask yourself, how's that? If you're supposed to preach the gospel, which is good news, if you're supposed to operate in love, which is the doctrine of the gospel, but you're showing hate and you're showing discontent, you need to check yourself. And you got to sit there and say, I'm following the will of God or following the will of man or myself. I said, Father Christ. Amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoy the study. And then I uh, hope you'll see the rest of these segments as we go along and do them. Amen. God bless you. And I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> bye bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.